was sent to me by God. Nobody could love another person more than I love, respect my wife. Here's a person that to know her is to love her, that never had a bad word to say about anybody. And she sees beauty in this world, not only in flowers, the sunset, but in people. She has an innate desire to make people happy. She is a blessed angel. And God bless me with Ellen. I admire, respect her, and I just thank God every day for having the privilege of having Ellen as my wife. You know, our life is very complicated, as everybody else's, I guess. But we were blessed. We have five wonderful children, and God blessed us with a special child to care for. People wouldn't understand uh, what it, how I can say being blessed by having a child with special needs. But I have a child, we have a child, that is going to be 57 years old this year never spoke and he was brought into this world not being able to speak had deformity in his legs he had a club foot he had um, disabilities profoundly disabled and yet he only has brought ellen and myself happiness when he smiles or when i change his diaper or when i feed him and he looks into my eyes i see an unconditional love that cannot be expressed. I see the happiness and joy that he gives to Ellen. And Ellen, the most patient person in the world, being a trained nurse, an RN, she is like an angel taking care of anybody's child. But Ricky is so special. And the time and effort that we spend in giving Ricky his care and our love is rewarded a thousand times more by his response of just giving us a smile, holding his hand, holding our hand, and he, without being able to speak, shows his love for us. Ricky knows he's loved. And I want you to know that anybody who has met Ricky during his lifetime, and it's very diverse, his life experiences, that'll be told in another story at some time, that everybody who had hands on whether they were hands-on attention that they provided for Ricky as a caretaker, a direct caregiver, or a counselor at a camp, or a, uh, an, an educator in a program, to know Ricky was to love him. Everybody all through the years, and we have letters from people that go back over 50 years, how they describe Ricky the person. And that's what life is really all about. My mission and Ellen's mission in life, and God sent us on this mission, was to put a face on Ricky and all special children for the joy and happiness they bring to our world. It is so vitally important for people to understand the challenge of having a special child is also a privilege. And people have said to me, of all faiths, you're going to heaven. God sent you an angel, and Ricky is that angel. And you know, I really believe that God sent not only Ricky, but my wife Ellen as well. And together we've had a life of happiness. You know, difficulty in life, that's what life is all about. But the love and the rewards of loving each other as we love each other and all of our children is a blessing that everybody has in their life if they only know to take advantage of it. Again, I thank God every day for the wonderful life that Ellen and I have and our children. We were blessed, and I really want people to really understand the message that I'm sending to the world is take the time and smile, acknowledge, and be aware of people with special needs because they are special and they were sent here. And they are here as messengers of God to say, take the time to appreciate everything that you have, love your family, and try to make love and happiness to the world. You'll never be in a better position for happiness than meeting and helping other people. There's a saying, no man stands so straight as when he bends to help a child. And that's what life is really all about. But Ellen and I together, with our love and affection,
There isn't a day that I don't wake up in the morning, thank God, and give my wife a kiss. There isn't a night that goes by that I don't hold my wife and say, thank God that I love you so much. And that's what's story in my life.